Hello and welcome to the big picture. After months of playing ducks and drakes about withdrawing support to the UPA government, the Trinamool Congress Chief Mamta Banerjee has finally kept a word. The Manmohan Singh government has now technically slipped into a minority status, though ironically, one can see a sense of relief in the Congress camp. The relief obviously comes from the confidence that there are other parties like Samajwadi Party and Bhaujan Samaj Party which are willing to support the government and keep it going while the opposition parties are not too keen to bring the government down and go for a midterm poll. However, various political parties have started positioning themselves for the 2014 elections and the process of exploring various options have already begun, including the re-emergence of a third front. The political atmosphere, however, is still hazy as some parties which protested against the latest government decisions on the FDI in multi-brand retail and diesel price hike continue to support the government. For the UPA government, which has apparently decided to pursue the reform process vigorously and bring in more measures in the coming days and weeks, it's a new life without Mamta Banerjee. So what is going to be life after Mamta Banerjee for the UPA government? How far it will be able to go in redeeming some of its lost image? Whether this game of wits will further add confusion or the government will be able to overcome it? We will discuss all this today with Mr. K. Rahman Khan, Congress MP and former Deputy Chairman of the Raj Sabha, Nilotpal Basu, Central Committee Member of the CPIM, Tari Kanwar, NCP MP in the Raj Sabha, Anand Sahai, Coordinating Editor at the Asian Age, and on the phone line from Kolkata, Trinamool Congress MP in Lok Sabha, Dr. Kakoli Ghosh Dastidar. Welcome to all of you. First, let me go to Mr. Rahman Khan. Mr. Rahman Khan, is there a sense of relief today more than, uh, more than any concerns? This is very unfortunate that uh, uh, Mamata uh, has uh, parted at the company and she has uh, left the UPA. And uh, she has been a valued colleague of the UPA. But uh, due to compulsion possibly she has uh, left. But it is, uh, it is always not good to be uh, part friends. But it is inevitable, it has happened, it is, it is a reality today and she is no more with us and uh, we will have to carry on, the UP has to carry on and we will carry on our agenda. And uh, this agenda which has been uh, mainly the economic agenda, the economic reforms agenda which has been, and, you know, which has been held to ransom by various parties, especially the Trinamool Congress. And now you think that the reform process will, will, you know, will accelerate? Uh, following the uh, uh, Trinamool Congress leaving the UPA? No, definitely we are, we are uh, with, with Mamata also, with the TMC with us, we were going ahead with the reforms process and now we continue to go ahead with the reform process because even uh, the, the, we tried our best to take all our uh, partners uh, together so, and to convince them the uh, reform process is the only way which we can uh, put the country back to uh, uh, progress. So, th unfortunately, they have parted companies, but the pro our uh, agenda will go on. Okay. Uh, let me get Dr. Kakoli Ghosh Dastidar in. Uh, Dr. Kakoli, can you hear me? Yes, I can. So, the Congress feels bad that you people, the Congress feels bad that you people have left them, but there is obviously, though Mr. Rahman Khan obviously cannot say that there is a sense of relief, but that sense of relief is quite evident. You think this was something which had to happen, that you people had to quit the UPA because for the last several months and ever since you people joined the UPA government, there has been this kind of tensions between, between your party and, and, and the Congress party which, which leads the UPA government. Listening to this gentleman, whoever is there, it's Mr. Rahman Khan. It's Mr. Rahman okay, Khan. Okay, 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 honorable uh, Mr. Rahman Khan. But uh, it is so shocking to listen to what he says because I wonder whether he's got his statistics correct. He's saying that the reforms are going to jump ahead and Congress is going to soar ahead and go very fast on the down the road of reforms. I would like to ask him that Trinamool Congress has been in the uh, uh, alliance only in the UPA 2 for the last. Uh, three years and some months. 
What has the Congress government done for this country as far as infrastructure development is concerned over the last 65 years? Over which period, most of the times it was the Congress-led government which was in the ruling the country from the centre. And also our party, we, nobody likes to part ways, but our leader, Srimati Mamta Banerjee, has shown within a very short span time of one year and four months what can be done to a state if the people give their responsibility. So here, as far as the Indian government is concerned, it is worth mentioning that 58,000 crore worth of uh, vegetables and grains are lost every year because there are no um, cold storage, infrastructure is not there, and the maternal mortality, a part of the MDG-5, the maternal mortality is in a shameful position as far as the uh, whole world is concerned, and that is because there are no hospitals, there are no electric connections in the primary health centers, and there are no roads in most of the remote areas. So what was the government doing for so many years? Mr. Cases, Sorry, Dr. Dr. Kakoli, Dr. Kakoli, one, one small question to you before I toss this, uh, what you have said to Mr. Rehman Khan. D does it indicate that you people in the last three years have been unable to pursue and be, since you are part of the government and your ministers were there in the government, it is a this failure which you are talking about is also to some extent your party's failure also? No, it is not. Because for the past nearly three years, every time these topics came up, we have raised it on the floor of the house. Our leader, Simati Mamta Banerjee, has tried her level best, but she was not heard. When cabinet meetings were held, she was the only person, and whenever she tried to bring forward people's family projects, she was told that she is the only one in the cabinet, and she was not given a hearing. And as far as I'm concerned, I know about the MDG-5. The government should be ashamed, because in the MDG-5, the maternal mortality and infant mortality of this country is so high, the whole world is shocked. And we were supposed to have improved it by 2015. But now as we stand today, it is not going to improve even till 2021 because the government has got nothing. Okay. So we don't take responsibility okay. Okay. of all this failure. Okay. That is why we have stepped out. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rahman Khan, strong words from your partner about whom you had, uh, you know, a lot of <laughs> love just <laughs> and saying that, you know, you're very sorry that they left. <laughs> No, I, I, I have I have to just laugh as, as, because you as, as you you have raised that question. They were partners with us for three years. They should have raised this issue not on the debate in the parliament. They should have raised this issue in the cabinet. They should have taken forward this all this MDG five or infant mortality and all that. We have never heard that you have fought on those lines. And in in one year, you say that you have achieved something uh, great in the in the West Bengal. We know what is your financial program and you yourself are saying that the, the state is facing financial problem but uh, this, these things cannot be solved infrastructure cannot be built up so there is need to be we should work together we should bring all these uh, problems and then we are part of the you are part of the cabinet you should have raised all these issues in the cabinet okay. now saying that uh, we had raised this we have not heard this that is not the way of running a, a government okay. uh, remaining in the government okay. and you have to fight for that okay. this government particularly the major constituent Congress party is completely disassociated with the common man at the grassroots level. Okay. They have no idea about them, how 70% of India... That is lives. your view. That they is your view. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kakole. They try to raise these issues and nobody tried to listen. Okay, Kakole, we, we will I'll come back to you. Please stay on. Let me go to uh, the other partner in the UPA, uh, NCP's Tari Anwar. Uh, Tari Anwar, you heard you are recently, uh, you know, the, per, the, the Trinamool Congress representative with who was with you people till, 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 till this evening. Very strong words. You people have also had problems with the, uh, with, with the Congress party in the government. You also raised certain issues. But do you also feel strongly? And one more question is that now that the government has let go Mamta Banerjee, this time I think it looks as if they said so far and no further. Do you people, you are a much smaller party than the Trinamool Congress. Is there a sense of concern in smaller parties which are, which are in the UPA government? First of all, I don't see any crisis or any danger for the present government. And other thing, what Mrs. Kakuli said, 
I would like to remind her that uh, she was telling that uh, last uh, 65 years Congress is ruling. I, I, I will remind her that uh, Mamta was also one of them. She was in the Congress party and she is the product of the Congress party. So uh, she should not uh, forget it. Right. Another thing, uh, she is uh, talking about the development and uh, she was just saying that uh, large number of uh, food grain and uh, vegetable and fruits uh, destroyed because of the no cold storage, no uh, storage facilities. Right. I 100% agree. That's why the FDI is coming. The foreign investment is necessary. Our uh, economic condition is not like that, that uh, we can um, uh, de develop infrastructure in this field. That's why, why we is have... That uh, that? The question uh, is... Uh, in, in every field, in every, every field, we have, have to, to once, no, no, why, Kakule, Kakule, please let, every, Kakule, every please let him country, finish, I'll come back to you. There is a, there is, uh, then every country, developing countries, they are trying to uh, attract foreign investment in their country. Why? Because they think that without a foreign aid, foreign uh, investment, they cannot develop. So why now uh, they are uh, against, they are uh, one, uh, one more thing. Today I read in the newspaper that uh, 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 Tirumul Congress uh, Manifesto 2009, it was mentioned yes. that uh, if their government will become then uh, they will also uh, support. support the uh, FDI in retail. Okay. And now she anyway, is apparently, what no, is apparently, it? apparently uh, it was a draft, draft manifesto, and that's what Mamta Banerjee says it was a draft man. It was not the final. Man. Anyway, we'll keep that aside. Let me bring in uh, Nilotpal Basu here. Nilotpal Basu, Mamta Banerjee is out of the UPA. Is this some kind of an opportunity for the left parties, or is it some kind of a challenge? Opportunity for what? for going down the drain along with my good friend uh, Rahman Khan Saab. <laughs> I, I think, uh, uh, I, I wish uh, uh, audience in West Bengal is watching this show because uh, not so long back, just one year, four months back, this, uh, everything was hunky-dory with Congress and Trinamool. Uh, much earlier, uh, in 2009 also, it was like that. They were telling that they will bring Bengal out of the morass that we have landed Bengal in, but uh, have. see the see, see see the see the way it has ended up. Anyway, according to according it, to Dr. Kakuli Ghosh Dastidar, uh, it, uh, anyway, in the last one and a half one and a half years, they have been any, able to any, do a lot of things which you people have not done. Uh, anyway, I think the you less we to talk, the things that already have been done. Do you want to uh, the, 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 the the, 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 in every block of the Okay, Kakuli, let. I, I, I think the, Ka I, Kakoli, please, please I, let I, Nilotpal speak. I, I think uh, the less we talk about that, the better. Yeah, let us not confine this to on, on, on Mr. Rahman Khan's point that, right. uh, I mean, this uh, uh, reforms was inevitable. But I think the two decades record of uh, reforms in this country, which was ushered in by the pr present Prime Minister under the leadership of Narsimha Raoji, uh, has actually landed the common man, the Aam Admi, in great deal of difficulty. Uh, the breakup of the Indian GDP uh, itself shows a very sordid picture where where the Nil profits are going up. Nilotpal, uh, Nilotpal, we will we will we will you know, we have, we will discuss this issue some other day. But I want to focus on this issue now. Now what next? Now that Mamta Banerjee is out of UPA, yesterday you people, the opposition parties came together, had a Bharat Band. It, there was this unusual side of the left parties and the BJP and the same platform. You know, where do you see this? Now, talk of third front has started happening. Is this the time for you people to start positioning yourself for the 2014 polls? I think first let me dis uh, disabuse you of this uh, Congress uh, uh, left uh, BJP bonhomie. First of all, it was a meeting which was uh, called by the traders organizations where they have invited uh, all the political parties who are opposed to uh, FDI in retail and it is there that uh, independently the BJP went, we went. So that is not no, the I issue. Am not, the yes, issue that's is not an issue. We are, we are very clear that yes. we have been very consistent about FDI in retail. 
In 2006, when it came up, when we were supporting the first UPA government, well, we persuaded and effectively with the, on the basis of facts and figures, and the government had accepted our position, and FDI, FDI in retail did not go through. Nilad Pal, today, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. The, no, we know all that. This is, these, these discussions have been held. I am asking you, now that the FDI retail is a reality, the notification it is has not come. a reality. Notification has come. It, it, it will be. It will be fought on all fronts. Uh, the people are okay, out on know, the streets. Absolutely. I, I, I think. I think. I think uh, you may uh, nurse an illusion along with the present government that without having a parliamentary majority, without having uh, really people support, you can go on. I mean, this is ultimately democracy, and I think the last words on this have not been said. Okay. Uh, you, well, will, okay. you will see. You will see in the coming days at every point, I mean, there will be opposition because you know That's today fine. the cyber world is full of what kind of opposition Walmart faces. Nil Nilod Pal, in the United fine. States itself. Nilod Pal, that and is fine. All, all, all the illusions no, that you okay, are nursing. Absolutely, that's fine. You know, the, the discussion on the FDI in retail is something I'm not saying that it's over, but as far as the government is concerned, they are stuck to the decision and they have issued the notification. We'll discuss this later. Let me come to Anand Sahai. Anand, the, uh, the issue now is that how, do, how does the UPA government proceed now? Now that one of its most difficult partners has left, do you think it will see itself having a much easier time in bringing about some of the changes, some of the reforms which they want to bring in? Well, this was a very uh, trouble, troubled alliance with the TMC. Yes. That has been evident for a number of years now. It was a, it's, it was a troubled marriage right from the beginning. Well, I think uh, uh, basically what they were trying to do in Bengal was to get rid of the left front government. And after 30 years, the left front had also committed uh, some mistakes and they had to pay the price right. electorally. And I think that gave Mamta Banerjee a, a very exaggerated uh, idea of her own political importance on the electoral national. map of the country. On, on the, the national stage. On the political map of the country. And also a sense of her, you know, her historical inevitability for Bengal itself. I think on both counts, she was in error. You know, the, the assessment, I think, is not being borne out. The left, whatever you may bring to their door, and there are a number of problems there, but the kind of uh, transformation that the left front government over a quarter century or a little more brought about in the rural Bengal, in the cooperative movement in Bengal, that is a bulwark for the ordinary people of the state. Mamta Banerjee's government has done precious little. I mean, I, I don't know. They may have tried in some areas, but where the successes lie, it, has, still not uh, it has not been. It has not come to public notice so far. Okay. So I cannot really say, but I think. Uh, I think. Okay. I think we will. We, we need to go into a short break now. We'll come back soon and uh, continue this discussion. Please keep watching. We'll be back very soon. Welcome back. We are discussing life after Mamta for the UPA government. Uh, Anand, your, your point was that that uh, Mamta Banerjee had a specific purpose in, in having an alliance with, with Congress party and that purpose is over. Is that what you are trying to say? What I, yes, I mean, in a sense. What I am saying is that if there was a, a historical need for a nativist Bengal type of party, a very specific regional party of Bengal, it came in a specific situation where there was uh, you know, a, a, a critical degree of disaffection yes. with uh, the rule of the left front because it had gone on for so long. And the need for a change. But yes, now that has been served, the kind of party that uh, Mamata Banerjee represents, I don't think, given its agenda, given its social formations and so on, or social support base, etc., I don't think it is inherently capable of, uh, you know, expanding 
uh, you know, the frontiers of, you know, public welfare, bringing in technology, you know, bringing in modernity in Bengal. I don't think this is a kind of party that can deliver on those goals. Okay. Let me get Mr. Rahman Khan in. Mr. Rahman Khan, the, the challenge now for the UPA government, the challenge now, now it cannot anymore say that, you know, we have heard the Prime Minister saying in the past that a coalition government with all kinds of compulsions and things like that because of which we are not able to function freely. Now, one of the major uh, problem uh, problems in the UPA is no more there with the Trinamool Congress walking out of the alliance. You think now the challenge is actually much more to really prove that you people can deliver. You see, Congress has in the past has also accepted the challenge and we have delivered in UP1 we have delivered. Now that we will also deliver, we will complete the Prime Minister as he has said that we have to complete the unfulfilled agenda. We are going ahead and uh, we will we will with the support of our allies our partners and those those who are supporting us uh, in the government we will we will carry on the unfinished agenda of the reforms and uh, we will give a good government and uh, it is always opposition is their duty to criticize they have been criticizing in the past also when computerization was there there was total opposition from these opposition for computerization that there will be employment loss and all that that was proved wrong and now the fda also proved them wrong that it is in the interest of the country the reforms is a necessary for the growth and as well as for the common man they are taking a bogey that common man is suffering common man is against I mean, they are saying their version, it is in democratic setup, it, is, it will be in the election which will be set up. Up to 2014, we have a mandate, we will carry on, let the people decide whether our agenda is in their favor or not. Not but any one party, any opposition telling that uh, people are not liking it, we will go to the street. It is their job, they let them do it, we will go ahead with the uh, agenda. Dr. Kakuli goes this there. This is a challenge. See, now that you people have taken the decision to walk out, Anand Sahai says that you, you, you in any case, didn't have much uh, for, with the Congress. You had a particular purpose. That purpose is served. And now you have walked out. You are waiting for an opportunity. And you have walked out of it. You see, first I would like to respond to what uh, Honorable Member Mr. Nilutpal Basu was just saying. I would like to point out that in 2004, they walked out on an issue which did not affect the common man. The common man didn't... 2008. Know, but 2008. But on the... Yeah. 2008. Yeah, sorry. And on the other hand, this particular issue, this is like an economic aggression into the middle class homes. You know, the cutting of the subsidy on the SDGs. It is going into the kitchen. So everybody is going to suffer. And if it's such an issue, the Congress government should have thought about it. The think tank should have thought about it. And also what I would like to point out is he was talking something about Somebody was talking about something corporate movement in the state of West Bengal. After taking charge of okay. the guys, the paddy was being... No, no, wait, sorry. Kakoli, 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 let me get... And there was a middle man in the state of West Bengal from the CPIM who was forcing the farmer to sell under duress and he was making the profit. Okay, Kakoli. Kakoli, let me, let me, let me, let me get, let me get Nilotpal. Let me let me get Nilotpal under this. Nilotpal, Nilotpal. See, Kakuli Ghosh has a has a very interesting uh, argument. She says that when you people withdrew support to the UPA government in the during the UPA one, you had taken up an issue which was not a common man's issue, and now they have taken up a common man's issue. So it we cannot compare the two situations, and so my question to you is. That's why, is this a bigger challenge for you people in West Bengal especially? I don't think so, because uh, West Bengal, you see, there is a level of political because Trinamool, consciousness. Uh, uh, sorry, Trinamool seems to have taken away the, the big issue on which, you know, you can go to the people. Instead of you, they have done it. You will not be able to go to the people and say that, you know, talk about FDI and diesel hike, because they have taken away the issue from you. You have any other points? But that's it. That's enough? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I will tell you that uh, precisely because of the reasons that you mentioned, 
in Bengal over the years, and Anand will bear me out also, he was referring to all this, uh, that a certain level of uh, democratic consciousness is there among the people. And they mm -hmm. understand what is pro-people and what is anti-people. So TMC had no other alternative but to dissociate themselves from the government and these anti-people measures of the government. And therefore, the issue is not uh, they stealing the thunder. On the other hand, uh, the uh, chief minister says that only she will protest. And the people who are out on the streets, who have, uh, who are observing the strike, they have no right to uh, strike uh, and, and express, collectively express their protest. That was what happened yesterday, a strange and bizarre spectacle where Mamta Banerjee, who in your uh, opinion has stolen the thunder on these issues, were beating up people on the streets who were out uh, uh, to, to enforce a strike. Okay. And, and the second question is, yes. you see, the basic question that uh, uh, we're running out of time. That, that that Kakuli has pointed out, I would like to uh, just humbly point out that now even more people are understanding that 2008 our uh, 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 response was justified because it was not just the nuclear deal, it was the uh, strategic partnership with the United States okay. which, which N -N 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 all aspects of our national you know, we are completely running, completely running out of time. I just want you to reply with a very short question. It, this is about the third front. If third front something is, is, is it something which is going to be a reality? Are you people enthused about this, the, uh, you know, proposal with today Mulayam Singh Yadav is also talking about it? Right now, that is not our priority. Our priority is to cooperate with uh, uh, non-Congress, non-BJP parties on issues where we find that the people's rights are under assault and that is what we did yesterday okay. and that we uh, hope to do in the future. Okay, but you know, you had you had this uh, spectacle of Samajwadi party being part of this dharna, but they, they also today have said that they'll continue to support the government. These kind of ironies are this the situation is full of such kind life, of ironies. Life, life is full of uh, full of twists and turns okay, I okay. Mean, you have to accept them but uh, to the extent you can use okay. everybody's Tariq, cooperation in mobilizing the people to safeguard their interest you Tariq can Anwar, Tariq Anwar, last words to you very quickly is the departure of Trinamool Congress from the UPA government a blessing Uh, I think so, because uh, uh, since uh, uh, 2009, uh, in every decision taken by the government, the Trimul always uh, opposed. And uh, we, don't, uh, we could not be uh, able to implement uh, all uh, that uh, reforms. Okay. So I think uh, after their departure, I think we, we can uh, go ahead. Okay. Okay, sorry, we have completely run out of time. Uh, I couldn't I come back to Anand for, this, for his comments. Anyway, <coughs> interesting times ahead. UPA government without Mamta Banerjee, how it will perform and what will be the kind of political formulations which will happen outside the UPA is also, will also be worth watching. Thanks to all my guests. Thank you very much, Mr. Rahman Khan, Nilotpal Basu, Tariq Anwar, Dr. Kakuli Ghosh Dastidar, and Anand Sahai here with me in the studios. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue on the big picture, same time on Monday.